Ladies and gentlemen, I am breeding my dream butterfly. My name is Bart Coppens and I'm studying the life cycles of butterflies and moths in southeastern Brazil. And today I have the caterpillars of a spectacular butterfly I always wanted to see. Let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Brazilian rainforest I found caterpillars of one of my dream butterfly species. So they're eating a species of nettle tree also known as Caltis and they are super well hidden so even if I open the container there is no guarantee that I'm going to find the little bastard let's see oh my ah here it is guys here it is now you guys may think oh this larva is not very interesting it's not very special looking, but trust me, the butterfly that's going to turn into is going to be more than special. Oh, that's fantastic. So this is a species of Caria. And I'll show you the kind of butterflies that they turn into later. And they make little shelters in the leaves of the Celtis, the nettle tree. This is my first time holding a Rio Dinit, a metal mark larva. They're very hairy, they kind of look like leopard moths if you use your imagination. But isn't that just fantastic? Oh, that's very cool. And I'm going to be over the moon if I manage to turn these into butterflies somehow. There should be several of them in here right now. I have Two containers and in each larva, in each container is one larva, yeah. So here's another one, I think, so they make these little shelters, can you see it? They roll up the leaf and they actually eat little holes in it. As you can see the other larva is living in here. It's very well hidden, I'm not gonna show it because it's sitting in this little house that it's built. So these are going to be the rearing of my dream butterfly. So then we're gonna check back a few, a few days. days later. Ladies and gentlemen, the Caria are a dream butterfly of mine, a dream butterfly. And they have just pupated, so it's time for me to show you what pupa look like. But you must be very careful ask you a question. How many people have raised this butterfly species? Well, there's not an awful lot of them. Anyway, um, I'm hoping my camera will focus a bit. Now we see here this little leaf. They kind of curl up the leaf before they pupate. They roll it up like a joint almost. So be very carefully. Ah, you see that? So this, it looks a bit silly. It's white. It looks almost uh, like a, a maggot. That's how I would really describe it, like almost like a fly maggot, really. Strange description, but very accurate, if you know what I mean. So this milky white, strange-shaped pupa here is the pupa of a legendary Caria butterfly. These butterflies are really incredible. I've raised exactly two larvae. Two of them. So there you go. Show you the other pupa. Here is the other pupa. As you can see, they have some quite silly bumps on their thorax. See those odd bumps? Now, I am not sure how many days it will take them to transform into a butterfly. But, it's not going to take very long. Especially not for a tiny species of butterfly like this in the tropical heat of Brazil. So I'm going to put them back. And one day, we're going to see two legendary butterflies just appear. Before that, I probably have to replace the leaf litter with sticks or something. Because these leaves are going to rot over time. I don't want them to become moldy. But we'll see. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, one of the butterflies is A few is days hatched. later. But before I film it, 
I will place it in the bigger enclosure here. There's another moth in it, but I hope that won't be an issue. Let's release the butterfly here first, so it doesn't harm itself. Well, wow, it's beautiful, guys. Wow, now that is a beautiful butterfly. So what is it? This is Caria castalia, a tropical species of metal mark butterfly. They have very powerful green glitter. Unfortunately, they flutter a lot in the container, resulting in damage on their wings. I was not able to keep them in a perfect condition for long. Next time I should use a bigger enclosure. Despite that, it is still very special to be able to film these animals up close. Not many people have ever raised them in captivity. This rare butterfly has a fragmented distribution in Peru, Bolivia and Brazil, both the Amazon and the Atlantic rainforest, and in small parts of Argentina. It is found from sea level to about 900 meters in altitude and has a fast erratic flight, making it hard to follow and photograph. The best known plant that it uses to complete its life cycle is Celtis or nettle tree from the Cannabisea family. In some occasions, they can also be found mud puddling and drinking minerals from wet sand or mud. They belong to an unusual butterfly family, the Rio Dinidae or the metal marks. These butterflies can be very colorful, with shiny and metallic colors. This is why they are called metal marks after all. There are many species of them in Brazil, as you can see. I can film more butterfly life cycles too in the future, but I need your help. YouTube demonetized me entirely, permanently and completely, so if you like the show, consider supporting me on Patreon. These butterflies were released in the wild after the production of this video. They were raised in captivity for entertainment and educational purposes. To show the beauty and diversity of insects in the world, I hope you are satisfied. Subscribe to see more rare butterflies.